Hey guys, welcome to Bar Z. My name's Stan. And today we got a package from Adam, and I already knew this was coming. He had a, uh, uh, he sent me a piece of mystery metal. Uh, this has been cratered and rusted on these sides, but it's a fresh bandsaw cut here. But we want to test, uh, see how hard this thing's going to get. So we're going to, I'm going to surface grind this whole thing, cut it in half, heat treat one side and leave the other side just in its normal state and then we'll do a comparison um, hardness wise and then uh, then if it, if, if it does in fact get quite a bit harder then we'll take it uh, back to the oven and uh, temper it down you know I'm going to use uh, oil hardening methods because uh, we don't know what this what the structure of this metal is so uh, we're going to give it a try it sure uh, rusts easy uh, there's all surface rust right here already just from the time he bandsaw cut it to me So that tells me there's some carbon in there and If there's carbon in it, it has no choice in the matter. It's gonna get hard Okay, so there's another glance at the part rusty on one side bandsaw cut on the other uh, We're gonna plow Some of this material off with a surface grinder. I've already taken it to the mill and just kind of cleaned it up a little bit but we're going to uh, blaze through this rather quickly. We're not, this isn't an actual part. This is just kind of a test. But uh, for uh, hardening testing, uh, we do need a uh, reasonably smooth finish. So I'm just going to kind of plow through this and give it a quick surface grind. And uh, we'll take it over to the lapping plate and give it a quick polish so it'll uh, it'll test nicely. and we can see our punch marks. That, that's the big thing is being able to see the punch marks clearly through the microscope.
Okay guys, well from the previous uh, bit of video you saw, we uh, bandsaw cut this. I, first of all we milled it, we surface ground it, we cut it in half on the on the uh, bandsaw and I got one here that's been uh, hardened, it hasn't been tempered, it's been hardened and quenched, uh, it's been run up to 1500 degrees, let it soak for five minutes and then quenched for uh, 27 seconds in a slow quenching oil. And we're going to use the kit uh, from John Marcus, uh, uh, PTC Instruments. And uh, give these both a, a test. We're going to back them up on a block here. And we're going to put a snap mark there and we'll actually do two. Okay, so we got our dimple on this guy right here. Now we're going to come over here and put one there. And if my neighbor would quit banging on his wood, maybe I could talk over it. All right, let's see if we can get a reading on it. I really wanted to get you guys down in this lens, but it's not gonna happen, trust me. It's like working, looking through a microscope. Okay, out of the oven at 1500 degrees. My read is pretty much 60 right on the dot. Let's see what the unhardened piece looks like. It felt soft when I punched it. That kind of stuff can be deceiving. Oh yeah, it's soft. That is down in the 40, it's below 40. I'm going to call that about 38. So she got pretty hard. Not as hard as 01 tool steel. 01 will get up in the 60s. I'm going to give it another snap over here and get another reading on it. My last was 60 right on the dot. I'm getting a read of about 61 to 62 there. So pretty consistent. I'll go ahead and do another one over here. And the only reason I went to the trouble to surface grind it, you have to have a specific finish uh, to be able to get this reader to work. You can't just do it on a on a belt sand or a bandsaw cut or belt sanded finish, disc grind or any, anything like that. It's gotta be a, a pretty nice finish. Uh, 60, again, so we're getting pretty good uh, repeatability there. I got a, a 60, a 61, and another 60. So three readings. Yes, Adam, it gets hard.